don't know what that was uh, unplanned for, but we go to the ramming thing and go, yeah, that's pretty much a head on. So that's a D6 damage. Bring it over here. Go really, really, really roll. Two. Two wounds. That's good. Where are the two wounds? The engines and uh, this bike's going to explode, I do believe. Fixed weapon. Armor value 8. The collisions always penetrate. So, fixed weapon it does have a fixed weapon. Take your two dice, plonk it down. Three. Uh, three. Luck nut damage. The weapon is at minus one to hit for the rest of the battle. Well, it's still there, but whether the bite will be is another matter. Always work from the lowest to the highest because the lowest once depleted will then put those hits into other places eventually working up to the engines where the vehicles explode so this is going to be pretty funny if this is a six <laughs> okay well you know the fuel explodes, crippling and immobilizing the bike, so it's wounded. It's going to take a serious injury at the end. The crew is hurled 1d6 away in random directions and takes an S4 hit. That's these two. That's slow time. And the driver, this can be flipped. Scatter dice for the slaver. I have to say that is pretty funny. Two inches. So pick up the slaver and go two inches in that direction. Strength for hit, so it's a wound on a three plus. It's a wound. What happens? Slaver is down. Down, but not out necessarily. And the driver goes two inches in that direction too. Uh, wounded on the three plus. Yep. What happens? Flash wound. Well, there you go. That's something interesting in 13 minutes of play. 13 minutes of play. Round one complete. And uh, you see how if you don't pay attention to what you're doing, you can quite easily end up facing completely weird directions and uh, trying to zip through really narrow places um, where you can't and uh, your truck explodes I should have um, Jonas had um, a little fire uh, icons I should get some because uh, they look cool all right Turn to every shooter. Turn one, 
see that bike nice and easy I can stop moving there and then I can go everybody out now because uh, the truck hasn't thrusted no one's at risk of getting hurt jumping out of the truck if the truck has thrusted and you jump out, there is a 50-50 chance on a 4 plus that you will get um, a strength 3 hit, um, which may do absolutely nothing, but if you get this yes, strength 3 hit, you will stop moving. Now, the way I like to do it is get everybody out but because you've started moving the truck you then keep moving the truck because the next move is a thrust move and if it goes wrong you can run over your own people so getting out at this point can be a bit risky but i'm not going to move the truck any further so it's perfectly fine and on a two plus you're usually fine but getting that one sometimes is really funny because everyone jumps out and then everybody gets flattened by the truck. <laughs> I'm sorry, boss. All right. Going to run, so we've got a movement of eight. Boss is going to run to there. Six, stop. And then yell at everybody else to come forward because uh, maybe the boss doesn't want a bit of one in the front who gets shot. Got to finish on a on a token to um, to pick it up. Oops. up against a token the grot can pick it up be flexible when you're playing it's like it is just a game point one of a inch isn't gonna I think I know what they're going to do, he says. The two shooters are going to go this way. Um, just like everything else, Warhammer, make sure they're facing the right way. That's movement. All right, to pick up scrap, you've got to end your movement on the scrap piece. Then it halves your movement. Everyone pretty much ran except these two. Shooting. Okay, so get some sustained fire dice. Can. Right. How many shots do I get? Three shots. 
Devoid. All right. Copy. Three shots. Ballistic skill of three. 